as their favorite uncle in the church. Uh, of the many uncles, I know, I know. Come, come up, come up, until I right there. We have the honor of introducing and dedicating baby Cade. He gave that kind good Japanese name too, Takumi, huh? Takumi, good Japanese name that. And uh, so he, this guy is half Filipino, half Japanese. You know what that makes, Pastor Mark? The bugger smiling. You see him? Look, look, look. How cute, eh? But what we do at New Hope Central Oahu is we don't baptize babies. We dedicate babies. Because eventually, because they all see the love of Jesus emulated through uh, Daddy Braden and Mommy Darcy and the rest of the Ohana, they'll see Jesus. He will make his own Jesus, uh, decision to follow Jesus one day, right? And he will get to testify. But this morning, we get to dedicate Kate to the Lord with their family and their church family. But we got to let Daddy, Pastor Glenn, just share a little and a, a, a prayer. Can you just welcome Pastor Glenn as he shares? Gladly share. But you know what? I wanted to get Braden to share what brought them to this point. Why are you guys here, Braden and Darcy? Okay, um, well, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys all as our church family contending for us to um, dedicate baby K to the Lord. Uh, I know that it takes a village to raise a child, and although we have a pretty sizable village up here, we also do know that it's very important to have a village out here as well. So we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, Darcy and I have been on a really radical journey for Jesus, um, and obviously in our story, we knew God personally before we got together and so we just I just always knew that we were living under the goodness and mercy of God <laughs> and so I mean I don't want to get too much into the details but there was a lot of things that were said in our past um, that made us wonder if having a child was even possible and I knew that living under his grace and his mercy and his goodness that that wasn't going to be a problem and little did we know in 2000, what, what year did you get pregnant? Last year? 2022, she got pregnant, and now we have Cade. And two, two um, verses come to my mind. Obviously, in the Old Testament, it says that we should raise our kids up in the ways of the Lord so that we would not depart, so that they would not depart from it. And I know that it is um, a God-given responsibility on Darcy and I's behalf to raise him in the ways of the Lord, um, but also to... Acts 20:24 20, says that I don't consider my life of any value to me, but that I may carry out the will of my Father, which is to go out and preach the gospels of all the nations. Amen. And I know that it starts here in the house. And our first ministry is to Cade. Right. And I know and I prophesy over this young kid that he is going to be a huge evangelist, a huge prophet, an apostle for Jesus. Amen. And our ministry may extend on the island, and God knows what Darcy and I are going to do together as a husband and wife, but I know that he's going to have a ministry far greater than ours. And so that's why we want to dedicate him today. Okay, this is my family. This is my mom. This is my stepdad. This is my bigger brother. In the back there, we have Zai, my sister-in-law, and then... We have my brother, younger brother, Dayton. And then we have my dad here in the black, in the back. Yeah, and this is our whole family. <laughs> and we have in the back over here, you guys know all of us. This is my auntie, Auntie Elfie. And this is my cousin, Evan. Amen. Oh my goodness. So let us pray, brothers and sisters. You know, I, uh, you know, Braden and Darcy, I had a conversation with them earlier, and then they were saying, you know, Dad, you can just kind of um, stand with us and um, kind of enjoy the moment, you know, with, with all of you. But I was, I was uh, talking with Pastor Earl, and Pastor Earl goes, yeah, why don't you get up there and you pray for the family? I said, you know what, Pastor Earl, yeah, can. 
You know why? And I got to be honest, because it doesn't have to be my own grandson to be, you know, dedicated up here. It can be any baby. Trust me, we love dedicating babies. And the reason why we love dedicating babies is because we tell the world that you can't have this one. That we're tired of the nonsense, we're tired of the confusion that is out there in the world that is ungodly, and we dedicate another warrior for God to expand the kingdom in Jesus' name. And so if given the opportunity for me to speak words of life, everybody see words of life over any of our babies, brothers and sisters, I'm going to take that opportunity. Hallelujah. And so here we are today. Gracious and heavenly Father, if we could all bow our heads. We come before you today with hearts filled with gratitude and praise for this precious gift of life before us. We thank you for the joy and wonder that children bring into our lives, which is a true reflection of your boundless love and grace. Psalm 127 verse 3 reminds us that children are a heritage or gift from the Lord and as fruit of the womb, children are a reward. We acknowledge the blessing that our children are to us, recognizing that they are uniquely created and formed in your image, Heavenly Father. As we dedicate this child unto you, we entrust his life into your hands, seeking your guidance and wisdom in every step of his journey. So church, can we ask that you raise your hands towards the family? To the parents, Braden and Darcy Ann. As parents, we, dr we have dreams and hopes for our children. But above all, we pray God's will in Cade's life. We pray that Cade Takumi will grow to know you, Heavenly Father, that he will love you, and that he will walk in your ways. According to Proverbs 22.6, we find assurance that as we train up a child in the way he should go, teaching him to seek God's wisdom, teaching him to seek God's will for his abilities and talents, even when he is old, he will not turn from it. It all begins at home. May our homes be a place where your presence, Lord God, is known, where your love is felt, and when your instruction is cherished. And may Cade's heart be fertile soil for the seeds of faith to take root and flourish in Jesus' name. Now to the family, to the family, Pastor Teresa. We recognize the importance of family and community in raising our children. Proverbs 17.6 says, Grandchildren are the crown of aged men. And I think the Bible is talking about me and you, Darren. <laughs> That's right. Grandchildren are the crown of aged men, and the glory of children is their fathers who live godly lives. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for grandparents, for uncles, for aunties, relatives, and friends who will play a significant role in shaping our children's lives. Now to the church. That's all you, my beloved brothers and sisters, joining us online as well. May our church community be a source of love, a source of encouragement, a refuge of safety, of strength, and of godly influence. And as we stand here today, we commit ourselves to nurture this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord. We pray for the strength and patience to guide him to teach him in your ways, and to exemplify the love of Christ in our actions and words. Deuteronomy 6 instructs us to impress your commands on our children, 
talking about your teachings when we sit at home, when we walk along the road, when we lie down, and when we wake up. Lord, help us as blood family and spiritual family to be intentional in passing on the legacy of faith to Cade Takumi Rosario, creating a legacy that spans generations. And may he grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with you and with others just as Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, did. We ask for your blessings upon Kate Takumi and plead a blood hedge of protection over his life. And may he be a light in this world, reflecting your love, your grace, and your might. And in Jesus' name we pray, hallelujah, amen, and amen. Oh, Pastor Glenn, that was a whole service in that prayer. Yeah, yeah. That's all good. That's so good, bro. Oh, no, I think that's Ken back there. That's Ken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's great. Wow, that was amazing baby dedication and stick around guys you guys got to stick around people want to give you your aloha after service as well but uh hey would you again uh give the family an amazing hand that they are making a stand for jesus